Here at the Rideshare Guy, we provide information on a variety of topics. Well, besides the pandemic, obviously, the next biggest topic has been Proposition 22, which is on the ballot November 3rd here in California. Well, we recently did a survey where we asked you, how did you feel about it? What did you think about it? How are you going to vote on it? So in this video, I'm going to share with you a lot of the results from that uh, survey that we did. Okay. And I'll show you where you can go uh, to get to look at that survey uh, even closer to take a deeper dive. All right. And stick around at the end of the video. I'm going to share with you some recent news on Prop 22, which was some comments that Dara Kay, the CEO of Uber, made. That'll be at the end of the video. Hey, everybody. It is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy drinking my Nespresso. At 8.36, Thursday morning. How are y'all doing? You doing great? I am uh, got two more days, and then on uh, Saturday, I'm heading off to Zihuatanejo, Mexico for three days with my best friend. Uh, his name's David. And I'm uh, going to sit on the beach, drink some uh, margaritas, you know, talk, swim, hang out, eat some good food, probably eat some lobster. I am ready, ready. I've been working pretty much nonstop since like February uh, with this pandemic. So I'm, I really have missed being able to get on an airplane and go somewhere. Apparently Mexico is allowing us in. So I'm looking forward to that. All right, enough about me. Let's talk about you. Number one, what exactly is Prop 22? Proposition 22, all right? That is what I'm gonna cover right now. Here is uh, the, uh, the, where we're getting this information. Okay, we did, uh, we posted an article on October 5th. What is California's Prop 22 and how does it affect Uber drivers? And uh, what is it? How is it different from AB5 and what would happen if it becomes law in California? So um, we'll put a link to that article where you can go and get more information um, about um, the survey, all right? All right, we get asked this a lot. The rideshare guy was not paid to conduct the survey. Okay, we do it independently. We just want to know where you, the driver, stood on this important issue. So Uber didn't pay us, Lyft didn't pay us, nobody paid us. We did this all on our own, independent, so uh, you can trust uh, the results. So I'm gonna just go through a really quick breakdown of what is Proposition 22, in case you uh, have been living under a rock and you don't know what it is. So this all started uh, actually last year about this time. A lot of drivers and people were complaining about how Uber and Lyft kept lowering our rates and, we, and the drivers had no power. And then uh, something passed on January 1st called Assembly Bill 5, which basically told Uber and Lyft they had to classify us as employees. Okay, so time goes by and then what Uber and Lyft did is they put this proposition on the ballot saying that drivers in fact want to be uh, independent contractors and they're leaving it up to the citizenry not just the drivers which is a very small part of the citizenry but the entire citizenry of california to vote on our fate that is what proposition 22 is so prop 22 if you vote for it if you vote yes you're saying that uh, drivers sh uh, want well, you want drivers to remain independent contractors okay and if you vote no on it, then that's basically forcing Uber and Lyft to classify drivers as employees. Okay, number two, are you for it or are you against it? Okay, so all, all of our respondents, so this is whether you lived in California or not, 66% uh, were for it, 26.7% uh, against it, and about 7% were undecided. But then we go to California and we see 60% of drivers are for it, 23% uh, are against it, and far more people in California are undecided, probably because they actually have to decide um, at 16% are uh, undecided. So with either of those, it would appear that drivers would prefer to remain independent contractors, uh, even though uh, we don't have some of the guarantees that come with being an employee. Number three, Independent contractor or employee? So we asked that question of the drivers, what would you rather be, an independent contractor or an employee? So what you see here is 
uh, a whopping 70% practically want to remain independent contractors, 11% employees, and 20% are undecided. Number four, number four, what are the main issues? All right, so what we see here is uh, what drivers are saying. One driver who is against it, okay, so he wants to remain, he wants to uh, become an employee, said, a vote no allows Uber, Lyft, and DoorDash to become accountable to the state. If passed, these companies will continue to rip drivers off, okay? So that's a common feeling, and that's kind of what started all of this, is that, you know, in years past, drivers were paid higher rates, they were paid uh, more bonuses, they were paid better surge, and over, over the years, those numbers have come down and down and down to where drivers were saying, wait a minute, something's got to change here, right? They're just going to keep, keep whittling it down to it's not even a good deal anymore for drivers to drive. So here we see uh, a driver who is for Prop 22 said, drivers have been liberated from working for employers. We want to continue our con to control our own destiny. Okay, so that's someone who wants to be an independent contractor. Another driver pointed out, there is nothing in AB5 that says Uber and Lyft must take flexibility away if drivers become employees. All right, so that's an interesting dilemma. What does it mean if Uber and Lyft make you an employee? Are you gonna lose your flexibility? Well, speaking purely as a business person, yes, I would think that if I had control over the employee, over employees, I would tell them when to drive, how many hours they could drive. You know, I would have that kind of control. Um, it's true, Uber and Lyft don't have to do that, but why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they control their workforce to uh, keep that expense as low as possible? Okay, let's look at one more uh, little part of the survey here. Uh, nearly 13% of polled respondents said flexibility was their number one reason for wanting to remain independent, by far the highest percentage of reasons provided. Other reasons were control, autonomy, independence, freedom, not wanting to be micromanaged or otherwise treated like an employee with specific shifts, hours to work. So all of that's kind of saying the same thing, which is drivers want to re retain their flexibility. And by becoming an employee, that flexibility is at least at risk. Um, and uh, probably uh, you're going to lose it. Okay, let's look at one last little bit uh, from the survey. Um, here are just a few of the unintended, unintended consequences that could happen if drivers become employees. Drivers would get a minimum wage of 50 cents per mile uh, reimbursed, okay? Um, Uber and Lyft could limit drivers to no more than 40 hours per week to avoid paying uh, time and a half for overtime. That's not good. Uber, they could even limit you to under 30 hours per week to avoid having to pay health care costs. Now, again, I'm going to speak to you if you were running... Uh, the business, why wouldn't you have drivers work just up to 30 hours and then you don't have to pay any overtime and you don't have to pay any health care, okay? If you're Uber and Uber has a history of not treating drivers well, why do you think anything would change? So basically, you're giving up whatever you've got now for 30 hours a week. Right. Number five, not just in California. So in our survey, we point out that there are other states that are looking at similar legislation, Massachusetts, New Jersey, Texas, New York, and Illinois. So uh, this is a big vote because what happens here will be a good indicator of what Uber and Lyft can do in other states. Number yeah. six, Dara K. Speaks. Okay, he had something to say, which uh, definitely has an impact on how people look at Prop 22, all right? So in this article, which we just published yesterday, everything you should know about AB5 and its impact on Uber, we'll have the link below. He states, uh, Dara Kay, the CEO of Uber, Uber conducted an analysis to measure the economic impact of requiring all drivers in the U.S. to be employees. Before COVID-19, nearly 1.2 million drivers in the U.S. were actively earning income on Uber's platform each quarter. According to our research, pay attention here, if Uber in, instead employed drivers, we would have only 260,000, okay, down from 1.2, available full-time roles. And therefore, nine, over 900,000 drivers would no longer be able to work on Uber going forward. In other words, three-fourths of those currently driving for Uber would be not, denied the ability to work. 
Dara also mentioned that this number didn't really change when you take full-time versus part-time into consideration. There would still be about 900,000 drivers taken out of a job. Okay, so sure, he's Dara K. He's the CEO of Uber, so he's going to put out uh, uh, content which supports his case. A lot of people have a lot, a lot of strong feelings about this. And um, I put two videos out. We'll put links to those two videos um, down below. One where I shared my my opinion about Prop 22 and how I was going to vote. And then where there was such reaction to it, I did a reaction video um, where I shared a lot of the responses that I was getting about Prop 22. So links for both of those videos will be right below also if you want to go check those out. Key takeaways. Tough call, man. Tough call. It's your call. If you're in California, you got to vote. I already voted. Mailed it in. So... I've made my choice, what's yours gonna be? I think it really comes down to what are some of your core values and you know, how do you wanna live? You know, I am psychologically unemployable. I learned that at the age of 30, that I cannot work for somebody, I cannot have a boss. So uh, it was pretty clear, clear for me. But uh, what's, it, what's it for you? You know, you're gonna have to make that choice if you're in California uh, before uh, up to November 3rd. So good luck, good luck. And we'll be sure and keep you updated um, as we learn the results and, and monitor how this impacts the lives of the rideshare drivers. Thank you so much for watching. This is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps more people to see it. And if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, we put out one video every single day um, on uh, for rideshare drivers, for gig, gig economy workers. We cover personal finance, politics, all the things that are happening that impact uh, rideshare driving and gig work. So uh, subscribe, sign up for notifications. We do YouTube lives, a lot of great stuff. You're going to have a great day. Be safe, wear a mask and vote. Go vote.